Legend has it alligators roam the sewers of New York City. Turns out they're swimming in Brooklyn's Prospect Park, or at least one was on Sunday, shocking a New Yorker who quickly called the park ranger. Park enforcement sergeant responded quickly to the scene, and she was actually the one who snared it in the water. She thought it wasn't alive, and it quickly opened its eyes. Was she alarmed at all during this process? Yeah, it was a big, it's, it was four feet, 11 inches long, a big animal. Didn't quite know what it was going to do, how it would react. The alligator was not in good condition, emaciated and moving slowly, likely because of the cold temperatures. Will this poor little guy survive? I hope so. I mean, it's in the good hands of the Wildlife Conservation Society. Park officials don't know how the alligator got there. They are asking the public for information. It's illegal to own an alligator in New York State, one of 20 states that has a comprehensive ban on dangerous animals as pets. But enforcing the laws can be difficult. <laughs> In Arizona last month, police found a tiger cub inside a Phoenix home. After getting a tip that someone wanted to sell it, they also found a baby alligator in a fish tank. The neighbors were understandably relieved. They shouldn't have animals like that. In Florida, Burmese pythons are a big, sometimes very big, problem. Released into the wild by owners who shouldn't have them, they are an invasive species, and they are thriving. This one found last summer weighed 215 pounds and was 18 feet long. What else can happen for, with exotic pets being released in the wild? What's your what's your message to people? Uh, yeah, don't do it. Despite the legends, alligators definitely don't belong in New York City. So they snared the alligator right, pretty close to where I'm standing right now. And I'll be honest, I've been <laughs> keeping my eye out to see if anything comes out of the water. They said it actually wasn't that alarming because the poor alligator was so emaciated and slow moving. But we're told that it's in good hands at the Bronx Zoo, Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steph, yeah. we, I, the, the urge to tease you right now is very yeah. great because, you know, there's something behind you, but no, there isn't. And thank you very much for the story. Now, get home <laughs> safe. Bizarre. It's almost like maybe somebody had a pet and then it got too big. I mean, it, they weren't supposed to have the pet. That, it feels like maybe it's something that like there. that. It's so right. weird. We lost our alligator like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, Head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.